creating your first user layout. You've added data into your app. Now you'll need to design an interface for users so they can see it in a way that makes sense to them. You'll do this by creating a layout. A layout is a virtual surface you use to create and design your app's interface. Your custom app can have several different layouts, showing data in a variety of ways, or designed for users on different devices. In Lesson 1, you sketched out the screens for your custom app. In this video, you'll build the client list layout. To begin creating the client list layout, open Service Tracker. Click Edit Layout, then navigate to the toolbar and click New Layout slash Report. FileMaker Pro's New Layout and Report Wizard will guide you through creating the outline of your layout. From the Show Records dropdown, select Client and name your layout Client List. Since our therapists are using iPads, select Touch Device and choose iPad. This tells FileMaker to correctly set the layout dimensions. For Layout Type, click on the List icon. Notice that Portrait Orientation is selected by default, and that matches with the layout that we want to set up. Click Finish. You're now viewing your Client List layout. It's empty for now, but soon you'll add fields. First, get oriented to some of the layout elements you see here. You're viewing your client list in layout mode. In browse mode, you use the app to enter data. In layout mode, you create and edit the app, changing the screens the users see when they enter data. The orange rectangle shows the dimensions of an iPad in portrait mode. In FileMaker, this outline is called a stencil. You can choose different stencils depending on what device you're designing for. Layouts are made up of different sections called layout parts. Each part is designed for a specific purpose. In this case, for the iPad, you have a top navigation part, a header, a body, and a bottom navigation part. The top and bottom navigation parts are designed to be used on mobile devices. They'll remain on the screen when you scroll a long list of records. Later in this course, you'll create navigation buttons that go here. The header will appear just below the navigation. These parts usually contain title information or column headers for lists. The body of the layout will contain the bulk of your data. Now that you're familiar with the basic layout elements, it's time to choose which fields you want to display in your client list. Select the Field Picker icon in the toolbar. With the Field Picker, you can drag and drop the fields you want to display in your layout. Start by adding the first name field to your client list layout. Select first name in the field picker. Now choose where the field label should show. There are a few options for placement. For our list layout, we want the label to be above the field. This lets you place the label in the header while the field itself lands in the body. Drag the field to your layout. Notice that fields show data in browse mode, but in layout mode, they show the field names. Fields must be placed inside the body of the layout. If part of their edges lands in the header or footer, the fields won't display properly. Click Exit Layout to go back to Browse Mode so you can view your layout as a user. You'll be prompted to save the layout changes you made. Click Save. If your fields don't appear in Browse Mode, you can nudge them into place back in Layout Mode. Click Edit Layout. Select the field and label. Then tap the down arrow key until the top border of the field is inside the body. Now switch back to browse mode to see your list in action. If you don't want to be prompted to save each time you switch back to browse mode, you can have FileMaker save your changes silently. Click Save Layout Changes automatically. Now you can scroll to see all 25 client records, and you can see each client's first name. Next, you'll add a few more fields to the layout. Click Edit Layout. Click on Last Name and hold down the Shift key. Then click on Phone. This will select the last name, city, and phone fields. When you're adding multiple fields, you can choose how the fields are arranged as you move them onto the layout. In the Drag Options section, click the horizontal Field Placement button. Drag the new fields onto the layout. As you drag the field to the layout, you'll see an outline showing you the height and width of the items you're creating. 
You'll also see blue dynamic guides that appear when the object you're moving is in line with the edge of another object or the center of the layout. Line up the new fields with the bottom of your first field. If you don't see the blue dynamic guides, you may have turned off that setting. Turn it on from the view menu. The default size of each field is too big for our list. We can shrink the size of the fields to fit. Click and drag to select all of the fields. Then grab the dot, also known as the handle, in the center of the right side of the selection, and click and drag it to a place within your layout. This will resize the fields evenly. The fields fit now, but the spacing between them is a little uneven. FileMaker has some tools that make it easy to fix alignment and spacing. To the right of your layout, you have a control panel called the Inspector. If you don't see it, click View, Inspector. There are a lot of different controls here that you'll use over time. For now, click on the ruler icon to bring up the Positions panel. With all of your fields highlighted on the layout, click the Align Bottom Edges button. This will fix any misalignments between the first field you added and the second group of fields. To fix the spacing between fields, click the Distribute Horizontally button. The labels need to be aligned as well. Make sure the bottom of each label is aligned by selecting all the labels and using the Alignment button again. Then click and drag each label, while you hold down the Shift key, to align it over its field using the Dynamic Guides. Holding down the Shift key limits the movement of the label to just left and right, so you keep your bottom alignment. Return to Browse Mode to view your new client list. In this video, you created your first user layout, the client list. You learned about the new layout and report wizard, stencils, layout parts, the field picker, and some alignment tools. In the next video, you'll add a title and refine the layout further.